In photography we talk about the exposure of an image. What we're talking about is the amount of light that the sensor is exposed to. So this middle image is what a camera is trying to achieve, an even little bell curve of light. So this little graph here is showing you how many pixels are at various tonal ranges, so how many bright pixels or how many dark pixels. And in this particular image most of them are in the middle, they're not too bright and they're not too dark. There are some light ones and there's some dark ones, but not too many. If you overexpose an image, most of them will be in the high tonal range, and if you underexpose an image, most of it will be in the dark tonal range. There are three settings that control exposure in your camera. The first is the shutter speed, so that's the time that the sensor is exposed to light. Uh, so if you expose the, the sensor to light for two seconds, it's going to expose it to twice as much light than if you exposed it just for one second. The second is the aperture, which is the size of the opening that lets light into the camera. It's measured in f-stops, which is a reciprocal of the focal length of the lens and the width of the aperture. So if you have a 50mm lens with a 50mm aperture, that has an f-stop of f1, whereas if you have a 50mm lens with a 25mm aperture, it has an f-stop of f2. So in simple terms, the smaller the number, the bigger the aperture, kind of the opposite to what you would think. Uh, the reason it uses this slightly confusing system is so that you, the uh, the aperture is comparable between uh, lenses in terms of shutter speed. So if you have a 100mm f2 lens, it'll need the same shutter speed or exposure as a 50mm f2 lens. The last thing that affects exposure is the ISO. The ISO is a standards organisation and one of the things that they create standards for is the sensitivity of uh, sensors. Uh, it's a simple number. So ISO 8 100 is an eighth of the sensitivity of ISO 800. So if you have to expose for one second to correctly expose an image at ISO 100, you only have to ex expose it for an eighth of a second if it's set at 800 ISO. The smaller the number, the better the quality of the image in terms of noise and other those sort of factors, but obviously the higher the, the number allows you to work in lower light situations. And these are the factors that affect exposure.